Hi guys, for today's project, we're going to be foiling and coloring the perfect nanny from Kindred Stamps. Hi, this is Debbie. Welcome back to my channel for another card making video. Today I'm using the Perfect Nanny stamp set from Kindred Stamps. If you haven't checked them out, you really should. The artists there have created some super cute pop themed stamps. Everything from Mary Poppins to the Winchesters to Star Wars. And just so you know, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just think their designs are too darn cute. I started off by stamping off out the characters and coloring them with my main go-to coloring medium, Spectrum Noir Alcohol Markers. I actually had recorded this several months ago, so I don't recall which colors that I used. If I can figure some of them out, I'll list them over on my blog, along with the supply list as usual. I started off with some light and dark grays for the oh, nanny's umbrella, hat, and coat. Because it took so long to do the coloring, I am speeding up the video. I'm not an expert by any means at alcohol markers, but let me know if you'd rather see it on real-time coloring. Next I moved on to the nanny's hair. I'm using some browns. 
I believe I used TN3, TN8, and TN9 to add a little dimension to her hair. For her skin, I'm using FS1 and FS3, and then I'm using CR1 to add some color to her cheeks. Next I'm moving on to her scarf. I'm using different colors from the CR Corals family um, to do the coloring of the scarf. For her carpet bag, I'm using AG4 and CR7, give it a little, um, some contrasting colors there. And then I went on to the little bit of her skirt that's showing and I'm using TB4. on to the little flowers that are in her hat. I'm using those same corals as well as GY3. Of course after I colored these in I decided that there really wasn't enough definition. Everything was kind of blurred together the colors were. So I used my white gel pen on the flowers as well to try to help out with that.
After coloring all of the images, I pulled out a foiled background that I had created earlier. For this background, I used the Deco Foil Transfer Gel and a star, back, um, star stencil from the Sky Stencil Pair from Hero Arts. Um, one thing you will notice is I have this, <laughs> this issue with not wasting anything and not making a mess. This is the first time that I've opened this jar and to be honest I have two of them. Neither one of them had been opened. I had actually ordered a second one by mistake. This was sometime last year. Not realizing I already had it in my stash. So because I'm afraid of being wasteful, I am spreading this on very, very, very thin and it took basically took forever. I did a second background later and went ahead and put more on. It's not that big of a deal to scrape off the excess and put it back in the jar, so be willing to go ahead and be more liberal when you're spreading that on. You do need to get enough on to go through all of those stencil holes, um, and if you don't put enough on there, you're just going to take a long time trying to spread this out. I think I've seen myself do the same kind of thing when I baked a cake, to be honest. Uh, I don't know, do, do you guys ever have a, an issue with that? I hate making a mess, I hate having to clean it up, and I hate wasting anything, so some of my crafting I haven't really done that much even though I absolutely love the results. With the foiling, that's one of the things. I haven't done much of it, but the results are just so amazing. Um, so now I'm just picking up the stencil and I had used some washi tape to tape it to the back of that panel so I'm just going to peel that off and then have to set it off to dry. That's another reason why I don't do a lot of this is I work from my desk which is also my computer which means I have to move whatever messy thing I have out of the way and let it sit to dry and I'm impatient. Um, so I'd like to know are you impatient too and is that affecting any of your crafting? Once the transfer gel was dry, I heated up my laminar and pulled out some gold foil. I covered the stenciled background with the foil and placed it in a sheet of copy paper that I'm using as a carrier sheet. Then I ran it through my laminator twice just to be on the safe side. And now for the reveal. Aren't those gold stars just gorgeous? So next I'm going to go ahead and decide where to put all of those images that I had colored earlier. I'm kind of sticking to the movie. So I'm gonna have um, Mary Poppins, of course, up in the sky because she's kind of drifting down and then we've got the two kids um, sitting there where she's going to greet them.
I decided for this card I would put it on a top folding um, card base. So I had already cut a piece of cardstock to um, basically vertically half the size of eight and a half by 11, and then I'm just scoring that at five and a half. On the inside of the card, I'm stamping out a sentiment from that stamp set that says, life's as sweet as a spoonful of sugar with you. And then I'm arranging the rest of the characters that I had colored and cut out on the inside, trying to give the feel of the carnival scene from the movie. And then just to add some dimension to the card, I am putting that, I'm gonna pop up the main panel with some 3M Scotch foam tape. I'm gonna cover the entire back of that so it'll be nice and even and easy to put through the mail. Um, because I do put this on, sometimes it doesn't wanna fit in the envelope, so I may have to create, a, um, to actually make an envelope for this one. So I'm finishing things up by placing that card base popped up on that phone tape on the front of that top folding card base. And our card made from foiling and coloring, this perfect nanny stamp set from Kindred Stamp is now complete. Here are some other card videos that I think you'll enjoy. Thank you for dropping by and happy crafting. Mm -hmm.